Welcome to St. Mary's in the Valley Episcopal Church in Ramona, California. My name is Phil Cook, Vicar of St. Mary's. The Gospel of John presents Jesus as Son of God in an ideal relationship with his heavenly parent. And Jesus wants to introduce his followers to an ideal relationship with God as our heavenly parent. On this Mother's Day, we wish all of our mothers a blessed day and we thank God for all that has been ideal and wonderful in our relationship with our mothers. We remember also our faithful departed mothers and grandmothers on this day even as we remember uh, Blessed Mary. Thank you for joining us for our liturgy today. Holy Eucharist continues on page 355. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secret are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of Acts, chapter 10, verses 44 through 48. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm, he has won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all ye lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord with the harp. With the harp and the voice of song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the lands and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. A reading from the first epistle of John. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. The Gospel of John, 
presents Jesus in the most ideal parent-child relationship. In fact, Jesus in the Gospel of John is proposing that we also know ourselves as children of God and that we too might experience this ideal relationship with God. Certainly a happy Mother's Day to all mothers today, and we offer our thanksgiving to the only person in whom we've ever literally lived. Jesus said, abide in me. Our birth mothers did not have to say that to us. We were in them from our beginning. In our gospel today, Jesus clarifies what he meant by the notion of abiding in him. Abide in my love as I abide in my Father's love. Obviously, we are doubly blessed by literally abiding in our mothers from before birth. And then when we were born, we were blessed if we could abide in our mother's love. One could say that the profound effect of Jesus of Nazareth is that he cast an aura of love so profound that he created this love environment within which people were invited to abide and to live and dwell and develop their own ability to have a love aura for the befriending of others in this world. And that is what the church is to be today, a befriending society, creating a love aura, a love environment where people can find acceptance and nurture and peace for growth into their full personhood. In the history of the church, it is sometimes hard to find the original genius of our foundation. We were made to be a society of friends who befriend others because of the good news about our love relationship with God. We can note that the institutional structures of the church have often function not for befriending, but for separating us from each other as exclusive clubs with tight boundaries. Sometimes the boundaries have been seen in doctrinal wars between people who are Christian or other people who profess a different belief in God. Sometimes the boundaries have been ethnic and racial Apparently, colonial Christians who propagated the message about Jesus Christ were happy to convert people of color to the love of Jesus without ever truly practicing the justice of the love of Jesus with such people. We white people have taken a Middle Eastern religion and made it into a white empire of privilege, admitting people of color as long as they did not insist on interacting with us with the same kind of privilege. We who have been glad about the success of the gospel among people of color need to pray for the success of the gospel to attain the fullness of loving practice in our own communities. Befriending is perhaps the major issue in our world today. Befriending can only happen between people who are willing to live out equality with each other. Jesus of Nazareth wanted his students, his disciples to graduate from being mere pupils and disciples with diminutive status to become full-blown friends with him. Jesus said, I now call you friends. You have graduated because you now have become teachers to others. And I send you to befriend other people as I befriended you. 
You have learned the curriculum well, the curriculum of my commandments of love. One of the goals of motherhood is to have one's children grow up and become parents too. Once a parent, one reaches a new type of equality with one's own parents, an equality of identity. So let us remember the graduation ceremony of Jesus for his disciples. Peter, James, and John, and the rest, I confer upon you the certificate of friendship. You are my friends because you have learned to befriend other people to be able to find their friendship with God. My friends, we are in the middle of being an institution with property and lots of baggage. And we can forget about the core reason why we exist. We exist to befriend each other and our world with the love of God in Christ. Befriending happens when we cast an aura of the love from God's spirit of love, which then creates an environment for people to abide in the wonderful friendship community founded because of God in Christ. Let us go forth in love to befriend and heal our world trapped in broken relationships with each other and with God. Amen. The sixth Sunday of Easter, the prayers of the people. God gives what is good. Let us pray that this goodness of God flow through us into all the world saying, O God, giver of love, hear our prayer. O God, your love is in motion. We praise the strength of your love. Where there is hunger, raise up your love. Where there is hurt and persecution, empower your love. Where there are false prophets, proclaim your love. Where there are lies, speak your love. O God, giver of love, hear our hear prayer. prayer. Where nations are angry and plot harm against one another, bring your love. Where governments lie and deceive, bring your love. Where powers cripple and destroy what you have made, bring your love. O oh God, giver of love, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Where the churches alienate one another, bring your love. Where our fears keep us from offering Christ to all the needy peoples, Bring your love. When this assembly is marked by division and jealousy, bring your love. O God, giver of love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O Lord, increase our affection, increase our compassion, increase our joy. Show us those we do not see. Magnify our love. O God, giver of love, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Here, other intercessions may be offered. O oh God, we thank you for the power of divine love and for the presence of your love in one another. Guide us all finally into that great love who is Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you. Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth, but chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death and by his rising to life again, he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. sin and become subject to evil and death you and your mercy sent jesus christ your only and eternal son to share our human nature to live and die as one of us to reconcile us to you the god and father of all he stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will a perfect sacrifice for the whole world on the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. <clears throat> After supper, he took the cup of wine and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has died, Christ is 
celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all that is evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Come to me and never be 
this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup, trust in me and you. Holy Eucharist continues on page 365 with our post-communion prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. You have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you.